Hi, I'm Al McRobby at Saley Company, and we're here today looking at the Ramsey Electronics SDE 3000 F2 box, which is a, an RF enclosure for RF isolation. And Selig and Ramsey have, have been partners in, in business for a long time selling these boxes, or making and selling these, and their, one of their first products was the STE 3000B. And that featured these portholes on the front, which allow access to the uh, objects that are inside the box, and also an RF tight viewing window right on the top, just like this one. Now this is a forensic variety of this, of similar product, and it has some additions on the front so that the, the latches here can be locked, and it also is constructed with tamper-proof hardware all the way around the thing uh, on all of these. So let's take a look inside, and we'll show you some of the salient features of the thing. Um, we've mentioned the, the window at the top, and the front portholes, and the lid is supported by a very nice gas-filled strut right here, and it features an LED bar, uh, light bar right in here. Uh, here's the pair of gloves that I that I mentioned that are made of the the nickel silver uh, thread uh, fabric that provide RF isolation, and we have filtered AC on the power strip and a very nice uh, RF absorbent foam on all the sides inside this unit. The idea of this is to be able to uh, manipulate a smartphone or other device that's been confiscated and also to be able to see it, to be able to charge it up and so forth when it's, it's here and to be able to secure this whole case and be able to, to move it to the next step in the, in the process that it's going, going through. So uh, this, is, this is all made of, of aluminum, and it features a very good uh, double lip seal at the, at, at the lid here. The, the lid on the, the outside perimeter of this lid comes down and, and contacts this gasket right here on the outside, and the inner aluminum part contacts the upper gasket just on the inside like that. So when this is closed and locked, uh, you get a, a, a very profound change in, in the amount of RF energy that you can detect from inside the box. So uh, the other features I want to show are on the side panel here. So let me just rotate the box a little bit and we can see those. Okay, so you can see the uh, nice uh, rugged power cord here that's coming in provide AC power through this filter arrangement right here. And then on the side panel, this is where different options can be added depending on what sort of RF or, or data I.O. you want to provide. You, there's a whole variety of different filtered uh, connector options that can be added to this. And so check our website or, or Ramsey's website for the details on on which connectors that you can have, but uh, they've pretty much got all the bases covered. This particular model has a high performance USB filtered connector right here. So the, this, this box apparently came with it. So, I mean, that's, that's basically all there is to it. And what we did is uh, we did uh, an RF isolation test on the box to see how well it did. And uh, we're gonna look at the polar plot in a second or two, but I want to mention that on the polar plot, um, zero degrees on the plot is with our antenna of, uh, facing the, the front surface of the, of the uh, chamber right here like this, and then we rotate it 360 degrees around and get a plot. So we'll take a look at that in just a moment. Okay, here you see the uh, 2.37 gigahertz uh, transmitter on the, the table. And the table is going to rotate 9 degrees every step. And we're just doing this to establish a reference level for the rest of the test using the Ramsey enclosure. Okay, so now you can see we have the Ramsey enclosure on the turntable doing the same 9 degree steps. And we're measuring 
how much of that RF we can see coming through the box. Okay, here we have the results of the test uh, show, shown in polar form. The blue line around the outside is the reference level that we got at the very beginning. And the red line is the results that we got with the transmitter inside the box. So the difference between the two, the green line, is the isolation. Now, the zero degrees on the polar plot corresponds to uh, a normal right off the dead center of the device between the two portholes where the gloves are. Um, and you can see that for most of the, of the, the circumference around the thing, that the performance is quite good, somewhere between 90 and 100 dB of isolation. Okay, so we've looked at the test results and we've seen uh, all the, the important features of the, of the product, the fixture here. So if you have any questions, uh, my number is at the end of the video. Uh, so give me a call if you have any questions on this. So thanks for watching.